Pussies, call the first one. Pussies, call the first one. Pussies, call the first one. Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make three insane velocities for your Fortnite montage. And uh, before we get into the video, uh, if you guys are wondering why I sound kind of sick and like why I'm sniffing a lot, it's because I'm kind of, I kind of have allergies right now, so uh, let's hope that doesn't get into, in the way of this video. So, uh, what do we want to do first? Uh, on the kill, so you'll know when you have the kill once uh, you see like the shield crack on the other character as you can see. Uh, there's blue on the other character as you can see right here one frame there isn't blue the next frame there is so on the frame that the blue first appears what you're going to do is add a marker with m on your keyboard so click the video and add a, a marker and then now what you want to do is unlink the clips so uh, basically it makes them two different like videos and like uh, tracks and uh, now go into retime controls by right clicking on the video and go into right here retime controls uh, add a speed point on the marker so wait how you want to do that is uh, click this little triangle next to the first 100 add a speed point and uh, now go to the frame where uh, the gun is pulled out for the like for the character that like your screen is on so as you can see one frame the f uh, gun is there the next frame it isn't so right on the frame where the gun gets pulled out add another speed point and it doesn't really matter where you have the speed point whether it's on the left or the right it'll like do the same and now go just somewhere in the middle of the two speed points and add another speed point uh, change the first speed to like 50 and change the second speed to uh, 400 and uh, now what we're going to want to do is uh, in this middle speed point right here uh, so this middle speed point that the marker is on just drag it back so the last speed point or the yeah the last speed point lines up with the marker perfectly and uh, now on the speed point that is under the marker, which is this one, well, one in frame in front, and uh, drag uh, that speed point to uh, that frame around there. And then now, what you want to do is drag this back so it works again. So it is kind of confusing. If you guys, I would recommend that you guys watch this back multiple times so you guys fully understand the concept. And uh, now that we've done uh, the uh, like the first two speeds, change the second speed to fifty. Or the third speed of 50. So basically, this is how it should look like. And uh, if you guys do see that the uh, or that the video is kind of choppy, like with the slow mo, uh, on the clip, click on it and uh, go down on the right hand side and uh, click optical flow on retime process. And this should be under the uh, retime scaling menu. So it, sh it should make it way better. Like this slow mo should be super clean. And uh, yeah, it does look good. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is just trim this down. Uh, so it goes like that. And now there isn't too much dead time on the clip. And uh, that was the first uh, velocity. It is pretty basic, but it's also really clean. So that's why I like. And uh, now you got your second clip. And for me, it's like literally the exact same clip that I used before. And uh, for this velocity, this is like the beginner one. Uh, so what you're going to want to do first is uh, just go and add a marker on the, like where you added the marker last time where the shield cracks on the opponent and uh, add a marker on it. Unlink the clips like you did last time. Go into retime controls uh, by right clicking and going to retime controls, add a speed point under the marker. And uh, this time what you're going to want to do is go uh, 10 frames before one two three four five six seven eight nine ten add another speed point and make this uh 400 and uh it will look a bit weird but uh drag this back or like drag the first speed point so uh, basically it lines up and then drag uh that last speed point so it lines up with the marker so it should look like that and uh, now make the last speed 50 so it should look nice and uh, yeah it will be a bit like super like fast so go like two frames behind it and then drag this back so so yeah this is like the basic velocity maybe you want to go a couple frames before and then drag the speed point back so 
yeah super basic but it's also kind of clean so uh, just choose whichever one you want from this video and uh, this is uh, this is the second velocity so it should look like that so both velocities together should look like this so that's the first velocity and then the second velocity looks like this and I'm also going to add optical flow on this one like you guys did last time and uh, now for the last velocity I'm going to literally get the exact same clip again and uh, this one will be like I'd say the most advanced one so what you're going to want to do is uh, obviously unlink the clips like before and find uh, where the shield gets cracked on the opposing character add a marker go into read time controls add a speed point and then go to where to the frame where the gun is pulled out once again so right there should be good actually no wait right there should be good add another speed point and then right here go again in the middle of the two and add another speed point Change the first speed now to 25, that's where it gets a bit tricky. Go to the second speed point and change it to 400. And uh, keep it like this. Trust me, keep it like this. Then change the uh, last speed to 25, so it should look like this. And uh, what we're gonna wanna do now is uh, just delete the audio track, cause uh, this is kind of like over edit uh, velocity, and for over edits, you don't really need the game audio. So yeah. <laughs> And now, it should look like this. And as you guys can see, it does look a bit scuffed because like the slow mo is really bad and like it's not it, like good velocity. But now I'm gonna change the read time and scaling. This part's super important. Make sure you guys listen. Right here on the on like the clip that I'm using the velocity on, make it optical flow and read time process, and it should look a bit better. And uh, now, drag the marker right here onto the uh this speed point right here and uh go one frame in front of the marker and then drag the speed point so it goes like so it just goes on the playback head so it should look like this and i shouldn't just go play back and it is gonna lag so i'm gonna make my playback uh quarter resolution And uh, if you guys do think that is like too much of a speed up, I'm just gonna drag this back a bit. And so I'm just gonna use how I did it before. And uh, yeah, I think we're done for this tutorial. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.